You picked the wrong Friday. Hey guys, me host Superstar, thank you very much for tuning in. Look what I got! It's a Fortnite figure. This is Rabbit Raider from Fortnite. A really cool looking figure. And a part of our Easter special, I thought. There's no better time to review a bunny rabbit than right now at Easter. So, let's get on with the review. So this is part of the Fortnite Legendary series. These are brought to you by Jazzwares, and these are six inch Fortnite figures. They say six inch, but I think these are definitely about five three quarter inches. I think they're a little bit short, a little bit shy of six. Um, depending on, on which one you get, some are taller than others. This guy feels a little bit shorter. And this is basically based on Jonesy, I think he's called, which is the basic skin uh, that you get. And he's like a variation of it. He's got a mask on right now, which resembles that of Jason Voorhees, but with bunny teeth. And a little cotton nose. And the little bunny rabbit hat thing does come off quite easily, which is nice. Because I've been able to use this on Marvel Legends and stuff to pose for Easter. He's got a, a little band uh, bandoiler here, like a belt that goes across him that's got his ammo and things and these bombs on it right now which are in the shape of easter eggs. Again this comes off pretty easily if you want to use it on another figure which is pretty nice. He's got a leg prote uh, protective piece here which is actually sculpted to him and he's got a little white cotton tail there as well. He does come with two alternate face sculpts for this one. He does come with the regular Jonesy style face which is this one. And he does also come with a Clark Kent glasses style one which who would ever use that in a thousand years this one is so much more fun <laughs> so articulation guys let me just take this piece off first and I can show you that the head is on a ball joint you can look all the way up and all the way down left and right his arm does lift up this top hinge and it does give us a butterfly hinge so you can rotate his arm backwards and forwards a little bit there's rotation of the bicep and a double hinged elbow there so it rotates all the way around hands are on a ball joint and also the hands do have the open palm grip effect so you can grip his hand around all the weapons and stuff so that's always a cool effect to have god this one's a very stiff figure which makes a change from the figures I've been playing with recently which have broke on me so this guy's stiff by comparison he does have a diaphragm hinge so you can crunch him backwards and forwards as well as left and right on that hinge there's also a waist swivel there as well legs do lift out all the way as well as uh, forwards and backwards with that top thigh cut there there's even double hinged knees on this thing and his feet are on rocker and pivot and there's even holes in the bottom of the feet should you wish to use a base this figure line does not come with the base unlike its McFarlane's counterparts but you wouldn't need them anyway, the Jazzware figures really don't require them. As you can see, they sort of click into place, rather than the usual swivel motion. They're just sort of, if you can hear it, you can, you can hear the clicks. So they've, very, they've got very tight joints, they very rarely go loose, these figures, that i found. So you can get them in really dynamic poses, and they're, because they're so stiff with the articulation, they tend to stay in those poses for you. I also love the fact that he's wearing bunny slippers. <laughs> it looks cool with or without that hat, to be fair, but uh, let's go ahead and pop that back on. He does also come with a bunch of awesome Easter accessories, which I find pretty cool and I've been playing with with other figures this week. So he does come with a back bling, which is his Easter egg, which is very cool. As you'll see, there's a hole on the back of the figure, just like the other ones, and that just pops into place. Just like so, to give him the Easter bunny look. And his harvesting tool as well. It's got a chocolate bunny on the top, and it's like a basket that you would get and there's like a horn thing at the bottom, I'm not quite sure what that's for. That's probably just a pickaxe really. He's like, oh, is it meant to be a carrot maybe? Maybe a carrot. And again, he's got some little bunny ears on the part of the bow. And then just the wood doweling for the actual handle bit. It's even got some like bumps and things in it to make it look like real wood. So that's pretty cool. Just stand that back up there. He also comes with one of the buggy bombs. And he also comes with a chug. The big chug give him some good shields and we also get with this one the grenade launcher it's a really decent figure we'll look at those in detail on the desk cam so what I'm going to do guys is I'm going to run straight on down to the desk cam to give you guys an up close personal look at this awesome action figure so let's go to the desk cam wrong Friday Jason these are my kids Alright guys, so here he is out of the packaging, looking awesome! This is Rabbit Raider, he is the male equivalent of the Bunny Brawler outfit, which was uh, released a while back on the store. Um, it was an Easter costume as well, which makes it all the more fun to review at this time of year. 
So as you can see, they've done a great job of bringing this to life. It really does look really fun. I'm loving that Jason Voorhees style mask on Jones. It looks so funny with the little bunny teeth and stuff. And then of course you've got the little Easter eggs right there as well. And he's got the bunny onesie on with the bunny slippers. It just looks very funny. I've kind of tried to put his hands up like he's hopping around like a little bunny. Um, as well, he's got that little Cottondale. It's just so funny. Um, so the figure itself comes with a bunch of accessories like I mentioned earlier. This actual backpack piece um, is called the Hard Boiled. And um, there's also Stella, which has been re-released to the um, store recently as well. And his harvesting tool is called the Sprout. Again, a weird thing for call that one, but yeah. There's also different variations. You could get the dark version, which was the black and purple version of this skin. Um, again, really weird. It was last seen on the um, 21st of the 4th, uh, 2019. Uh, it probably will come back again this outfit this year for, for uh, Easter, sorry. Uh, it usually costs around 1,500 V-Bucks. And again, this was the male equivalent of the Bunny Brawler. So a little bit different. Sprout was the name of the, uh, of the weapon, which is back there, the harvesting tool. And of course you've got the grenade launcher up there, which has been very nicely painted, may I add. You could use this with other figures. Because it looks so nice. They've even weather they've even like like weathered it as well, which look, makes it look really cool. And then you've got the big chug as well, which is down here, which again you could use with anything. It just looks like a jar of blue, uh, blue liquid. Could even use that maybe for Star Wars blue milk. And then the boogie bomb as well. You could use that with any figure as a grenade, really. <laughs> So let's move those out of the way. Again, that's the back bling, very nicely painted and designed. Looks very cool this kind of this time of year. And here's the back bling once again as well, with a little chocolate bunny on top. And the carrot piece on the bottom. Very cool. And once again, these are the alternate face clubs that came with it. But why would you use that when you've got this one? I really don't understand why anyone would change. Such a cool face. If you do want to remove the face, by the way, you guys, the best thing to do, uh, you'll have to remove this headpiece. And then basically the way I find the best to change these is to lift the head up all the way, put your, th for your thumb underneath the chin, pull straight up, and that pops the front of the face off, and then you can just pop a new face in. Um, I'm going to put this one back in because I'm not changing it, but... And it just pushes in like so and clicks. Super easy to do. Again, a very cool figure. I just wish these these were actually the same height and style as the McFarlane's one, so the, the line could all be one. I know they wouldn't want that. The two rival toy companies, they really wouldn't want their toys to be the same. But for Fortnite fans, I really wish they were both the same scale so that we could have a really cool lineup of figures. What are your thoughts on this uh, toy line? Do you like the, the Legendary series? You can get them from your local Smiths, and they're also available on Amazon if you want to pick them up. I really do recommend this line. It's a lot of fun, and the accessories are usually crazy good. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I hope you're enjoying our Bunny Rabbit Easter coverage this week. I hope it's giving you a good laugh. And yeah, make sure you add us on Instagram so you can get some really funny pictures this Easter, as well as all the other action figure photography we do all year long. So let's go back to the main cam and finish off today's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget, I will be going live on Good Friday, Easter Saturday, Easter Sunday, and Monday. So please make sure you are around. I'll post on Instagram, at Super Sorrel, uh, in, in my stories, and on Facebook in my stories, at Super Sorrel again, when I'm about to go live. So you guys will have like a 10 minutes notice that I'll be going live. But I should be live quite regularly over the bank holiday, doing gaming and live streams, Q&As, and all sorts. So make sure you are watching, because uh, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to do a lot of stuff, and I'm going to do some toy reviews live and things like that. So <coughs> stick around, guys. It's going to be a lot of fun. And as well, I've still got Easter Sunday's video. It is edited in, in the bag right now. Where is it? Can you see it on there? There it is. Let me just zoom in. Oh, I can't zoom in while I'm logging live. Oh, no. But you can see it right there. There's a little tree and stuff. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun with the Easter Sunday video, so that's going to be a good one. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the live streams, so make sure you tune into the live streams.
So guys, what are your thoughts on this awesome action figure? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this review, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Subscribing really supports us, it really helps us out and helps us keep making awesome videos. Thank you very much for watching guys, as always I'm your host Super Sorrel, and I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you.